Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. There is an interesting paradox when discussing what it means to be mature. This one's parents pronounce the word mature and his generation pronounced it mature regardless of how you pronounce it there's something fascinating about what that word really means in spanish the word is maduro which means ripe In the course of everyday living, a person who is mature is responsible, honest, and reasonable. Part of maturity for most people is not complaining and doing what is required of them. And yet, the spiritual path calls into question what maturity really is. Many mature people walk around as victims, silently suffering, or maybe not so silently, at the effect of what they believe happened to them, injustices that they endure. And perhaps the mature person would just, as they say, take a licking and keep on ticking. <laughs> But really, maturity has to do with something completely different. This is why it's a paradox. One of the most mature things that you could ever do is to one, recognize that you don't know what anything is for and you don't know what anything is. And two, to take complete responsibility for everything you see not just your part. The old version of maturity keeps the separation in place. What maturity actually means is allowing everything to be as it is and realizing that everything you see is you. Imagine how different that is if you don't have a story where you are a victim or a perpetrator, if there's no reason for guilt or shame. What a remarkable person you would be were you to accept responsibility for everything that shows up in your space, to see every person as you, to see every situation as your creation, and to see the perfection and ultimate neutrality of all things. To release your judgments, to be willing to be mistaken about what you thought was right and wrong, to take ownership for the world in which you live and to open yourself up to the truth and let that truth color all your perceptions. This is very holy work. To be the Christ, 
takes tremendous maturity. The willingness to look lovingly on all the places where fear has made a home in your mind takes tremendous maturity. This is at once the easiest and the hardest work that you can ever do. And it really is based on your decision, what's important to you, what you value. Your decision to see love, to be love, to extend only the good, the holy, and the beautiful. is a remarkable thing. We are all so pleased at your progress in awakening. We cheer you. We applaud you. We love you. And we see you ripening every day. We'll speak with you again soon.